Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Arx Fatalis. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as, uh, as I can do things like this, I think. Um, that is pretty interesting. It went through all my mana, though, so it's kind of bad. Um, last episode, we got ourselves uh, some secrets. Uh, we went down to level six, and it's it, it's, it was this whole thing. It, it, it's it's kind of complicated. Uh, also, might die now. I didn't. It's fine. So we finished this. We opened that. We have a lot of skills about opening things now, and everything is gonna be jolly good. And uh, basically, we are, I, I'm going to try to, well, besides making sure that we have seen everything, and I think we have, um, at least the, everything that we can see for the moment. Um, I wonder if that keyhole, if I can open that keyhole with my lockpick. Let's find out. These, this keyhole, keyhole over here, I don't know why I didn't think of it. Of it. Can't do that. Huh? Yeah. If I figured, I wouldn't be able to. I think that is a very obvious secret passage for something. Uh, but we have saved Shani. We have, um, well, basically saving Shani is the only thing that we really did. Uh, but now we're gonna mess with. Do I have wine? I do have wine. We're gonna mess with the King of Goblins again because I want to open. Well, I also want to take my lockpicks that are in there, um, in the goblin area. But I want to open the King of Goblins' chest, I believe is the only thing that uh, still remains, potentially. Hello. Open the gate and let me pass. Let's do this. Let's see what I can do here. So one thing that I can do... Also, I just found out that uh, y you, you can be detected in where we're going right now. Remember how I basically spent a bunch of time in here, in this treasure place, without really paying attention to who was attack who was seeing me or not? Yeah, I can be detected through that door. Anyway, I can try opening these, which I will, uh, using my broken things. I have, that was a five, it's a four. Do I have an actually broken one? No, I do not. Um, let's hope that it works. I can't do that. Oh. I can't do that. I think that might mean that it is possible. There you go. I don't know how you detected me, dude. But I also don't need your uh thank you. Uh I also don't need your um your treasure because the reason I'm here I wonder do wonder how they detected me but anyway the reason I'm here is to find out what is inside because hi me, important guard of Lord Alatar, to make sure. um, I suppose I could try that over there the king might not even notice me if I sneak good enough Locked. let's find out yeah I know there's a place in this world it's impossible that has a thing well, that, that sort of settles it, doesn't it? Uh, that has a thing that I never found out. And it might be one of these chests. Let's see if it is in the Goblin King's room. I doubt it. But you never know. Well, I never know. Pie, the piece of paper. Uh, can't take that. Well, I suppose I could take that. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Better than the shield. You can keep the shield. I have more in your armory. But that basically settles it. We are going back to Arx. And it is quite a journey. Even without going through the spider mines. Which is uh, what we did originally. I'm actually not sure how f much faster it is now to go through the outpost. That's the, the direction I'm coming from. But hopefully Shani will be just playing and being merry. Uh, that's a live chicken. That's good. It's good. It's the smartest of chickens. 
uh, as we know. Shiny around? Hello. Yeah. You should talk to Carlo if you want to apply for a job. I really don't. I am so happy you found Shaney. I don't know how to thank you, Traveler. We are far from rich, but maybe there's something here in my stall that you'd like in return. Please, take something with our blessing. That's it? Yoo-hoo! I'm Shigar. You have a big nose. Big noses are good noses. Also, I'm stuck. <laughs> Whew, I'm not stuck anymore. Hi. Please, look at my wares. So, I can take anything for free. Potentially. I'm not really sure that's what that meant. It'd be good to know that in advance, though. Cure poison potions. I mean, let's find out if it is. So, I leveled up, which is fantastic. Um, 40, or 4,000. 4, so, if I take... Oh, no, actually, I should take the M. Um, because they're both the same price. It was not for free. You lied to me. You lied to me. You made me pay a bunch of money. And I reload immediately because, you know, safe scum is the way to go. However, I do have a lot of stuff that I can sell you. Like, for example, levitates are pretty good. The spell field, probably going to need that. Uh, I do have the one that I have, but let's hang on to that one. Mana drain. Mm, that sounds good, but let's sell it. Uh, let's see what an enchant object. Yes. Potentially very important. Uh, fishing rod. Not very expensive, so you can keep it. And yes, I, I realize I'm moving everything around. You can... You don't like that. Uh, okay, what else do you have? Some candles. Yes, you can keep the candles. I don't need them too much. What else do I have around here? You don't like these? Really? Interesting. You do like the mana potion. Wait, is that the first mana potion that I have? Nope, it just didn't stack. That's fair enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that. Thanks. Um, let's go... Well, we're gonna need to talk to Carlos for sure, but let's go also... Well, we need to go to the bank to make sure the goblin mine has the same prices and all that, but let's also sell some gems over here. Or rings, rather. So these rings I might want. This one is unidentified. Yeah, these ring rings over here I might want. There's also the reveal over here, which is an interesting spell. I'm not sure what it does exactly. I hope. I don't. I don't. It's maybe the spells illusions. That silver ring is only two gold. I mean, I guess it makes sense. If it were a gold ring, it'd be, you know, it's just it's thirty-five. As it turns out. Um. So that's that over here. We also have the regeneration ring that I'm not using, even though probably should. Probably should hang on to those. But we're going to be fine. We don't need to, to worry too much about uh, having the right items, basically. It's the, the end of the day. That's what it is. Okay, good. Now, let's go to the bank. Actually, before we go to the bank, uh, we, we're going to want to talk to Carlos. And also go sell some things, potentially. What Carlo would say if I asked him about a little pay raise. Do you have anything to tell me about the rituals? No, nope. I'm he doesn't have anything to tell me about the rituals. Ooh, object knowledge. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't make... Well, object knowledge would maybe potentially allow me to identify that thing. Can we can we look into that? Uh, let's see. So that thing is still unidentified. Let's bring it up to 40. Unidentified. Let's bring it up to 50. It's an invisibility ring. That's pretty good. Technical skill goes up. And that's our thing. Now let's sell scraps. 
I say scraps, but basically all the stuff that I meant to sell. Those pens I got from, uh, we've seen those pens before. Um, where exactly were they? Uh, they were in the, uh, in the goblin area. In the goblin, uh, armory, rather. So, yeah, you might remember. 300 and something, that's pretty good. However, we don't really need the money. It's just one of those things that, you know, just I, I will sell them. But, ooh, I forgot to sell that. It's not a problem. We're gonna get more. So, to the bank. You know one thing that this game has that's a lot better than Deus Ex, which is from the same... Not the same studio, but sort of same era, is that if you step on chickens and dogs, you don't actually kill them. Which is great, because we have friends now. Now, how much... Wait, what? Oh, right. 201. So that's going up. I... I'm not sure how that... Uh, I'm not sure of anything. One thing we could try now that we are a little bit better at uh, picking locks is actually getting into one of these houses. That'd be interesting. Um, let's find out if I can do that. Let's try this one. It's too complicated for me. <sighs> Guess it's still too complicated. Let's also apply another one up there. Excuse me. She's Alicia. The one that uh, is married to the banker. Let's see if anything happens when we arrive. Because you never know. Nothing happens. Just those doors closing, but that's normal. Hmm. I don't know if I'm in the right place, by the way. I assume I should report this, but... May the gods help you in your investigations. Interesting. Should I go talk to Carlos? I'm just sort of... Shane is safe. I arrived just in time before she was sacrificed. I am sick to death of this. Hmm. Maybe Orbi Planix, not Orbi Planix, the new guy. Well, actually, the new guy wouldn't know anything, would he? About what's going on. This door looks broken, but it isn't. Um. I don't know. I find this all a little bit strange. Where I'm supposed to go. I'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. But I will also try to get into these doors over here. I think the guards freak out if uh, if I, they find me. But I can try. That's not possible. It's not possible. I didn't even check whose room that was. Not really a very successful attempt. We got this. I should have tried. There you go. There we go, indeed. Okay. A little metal key. A fireball spell. Some flowers. Of course, I'll take the flowers. But... I don't want to be seen, so I'm going to need to step over here. Well, I guess that's what the little metal, metal key is for. Potentially. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's over here. It's a bejeweled long sword of extra damage. I can't use it, but uh, it requires 40. That's pretty good. I like it. Um, and also a set of tools. Nothing incriminating. I also don't know... Who would be incriminated? Let's find out. So this is the king, right? Yeah, this is the king. Okay, so maybe that's why that that one in particular is locked. But if I could get into the room of the new uh, astrologer or astronomer or whatever, I believe he's an astronomer. And maybe we can uncover something. I don't know if we're there, but we're gonna figure it out. That is a little metal, metal key. It's a pie. I'll take a pie. Don't ask questions. Hmm. Okay. Locked. Locked indeed. Hmm. I wonder what that little metal, metal key is for. 
Uh, let's try to open this. There you go. Lovely. And we have ourselves create field and raise dead. Those are suspicious things to have. Let's be frank there, but maybe the create field not so much, but the raise dead in specific. I don't know what, how that works. I don't know what that is for, basically. I assume I know how it works, but... So, this is Fallon's Orville Planix's quarters. And this is Sui Betis. Now, Sui Betis is the new thingy majiggy. I wonder if that key, the new astronomer, I should say. I wonder if that key was for here. It was not. Could it be for the king? It's Felnor's quarters. Hmm. Could be for that room over there. I'm gonna try them now, but I suppose we could wait. Uh, let's let's try it and see if it is for the king, because we know for a fact we can't open the king's door. I'll just leave them open for convenience. Yeah, it's not for the king, but oh, it might be for the chest right next to him. That would make sense. <laughs> also, not right next to the king. I mean, the uh, not not the one right next to the king. The one right next to Fallen or Sir. Servius is too complicated for me. Is it? Well, he broke that good. Okay. What? There you oh. go. The sound bugged out. Good, good, good. This is Fulnor's room. And we have ourselves a ring of general protection. Protect that's the that's one of the ones that I have. It's a nice ring. Let's put it over there. Nothing else going on. <laughs> Nothing above that. Nobody sees us. Fantastic. Now let, let me just make sure the bard is not called that, because I don't remember who's his name it's just a man well thanks for clarifying so this is the only door that I it doesn't even have a it's weird isn't it, it doesn't even have a marking there's a woman behind don't worry about it secret passages you see it's a castle of course it has secret passages the rest of the game has secret passages of course this one is gonna have secret uh, passages well. So, let's go but to the tower. Observatory is the correct term. Don't... It's fine. What did the stars tell you? The current asteroid configuration is fascinating. Did you just say asteroid? Hmm. He was not for that. Doesn't have anything. What a weird... What a weird thing. Yeah, I don't know what the key is for. So, let's get back downstairs. Maybe I should ask her... Wisdom gazes down. <gasps> well, oh, there's a rat. Ah, uh, well, I should have been here, shouldn't I? Can I take your stuff? Is it fine? A snowdrop flower. That's the invisibility one for sure. Um, so much stuff. I don't know where that went. It's fine. Where's the flower? Yeah over here. Put it over there. Oh, it stays here. Oh, yeah, that's definitely an invisibility potion. I remember that. I don't remember making anything with it, but uh, it is. Um, locked. Locked indeed. Locked. 
Making your own potions is both easy and straightforward. All it takes is meticulousness and patience. First, you must find an empty bottle. Next, you need the reagent specific to each potion. When you have this, crush it into a fine powder in a pestle and mortar, and then put it in an empty vial. Heat the mixture with a steel, the potion is ready. F the following is a list of known recognized reagents. For mana po potions, use powdered lily, which means that uh, that's a water lily. Wait, that is for mana potions, the yellow one. Uh, for effective antidote poisons, use medicinal herbs, which is... Uh, mm. Uh, mm. Morning glory powder, maybe? It's a mana potion. Blue powder. Powdered lily is the blue powder. You can't fool me. Yeah, it's just you just just look at the yeah antidote powder. That's the one. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't know where, uh, where, why it's called like that, but whatever. For an invisibility potion, use the powdered snowdrop flower, and for poison, use ferns, and for healing potions, use a uh, powdered water lily flower. So it's pretty straightforward, really. Nothing about the bones. Locked. It is locked. Can I take your? I really hope I can take your stuff, dude. I need to talk to you as well. That's how you do. That's how. Well. So I do. I do, but... I am Felnor, alchemist of the kingdom, and friend of the late Fallon Orbiplanix. Who was Fallon Orbiplanix? Fallon was our astronomer. He died a few days ago. I think he was about to bring to light a terrible plan, but he never got time to say more about it. I'm investigating the rituals and the death of Fallon Orbiplanix. All I can tell you is that these two things are linked. I have here a note that Fallon gave me the day he died, in case anything happened to him. I never really understood what it meant. Maybe you will understand. Maybe I will understand. Gimme. Ooh, got a key as well. Six becomes four, and then you take the first from it. The first multiplied by the second makes the last, and the last multiplied by the first makes 16. I remember having a lot of trouble with this one. Also, that is a spell. Or not a spell, but a, uh, um, a field. Can't do anything with it right now. Uh, I wonder what potions were required for the object knowledge. I also want to take that. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I bet I'm not gonna be able to do it. Don't look. I can't do that. Did you broke break it? You did not break it, broke it. I can open that and then the rat attacks. I recall that. Hi. I'm investigating Fallon's death. You must continue your investigation in his laboratories or his quarters. Yes, um, in his laboratories, I don't know that I can do that. Or, I mean, I know that I can do that, but uh, I think I've done that already. In his quarters, however, that's what that key is for. That's basically as simple as it gets. Um, maybe that's why I couldn't open it. Did it actually say I couldn't, or was it too difficult? I don't remember. Either way, we've been to Fenelnor's room. We've been to everybody's room except the king's. Uh, I also probably should be looking at these... I don't know why I didn't look at them. Although it is pretty obvious if there's a secret passage or not on, on the minimap. So, let's try this. There we go. It's a good thing we didn't do this before we went and saved Chani. That way we can have all of the adventure all compartmentalized and all whatnot. Don't think I can't see you. I can see you. Telekinesis. Yes. That is really important. That is really important. We're going to do it when we go to the outpost, and we're going to go to the outpost pretty soon. Okay. Now, we're going to need a little bit of privacy, if y'all don't mind. Let's see what I can do. Locked. Locked, indeed. Hmm. A code. A safe. Now, how does that work? Six becomes four. 
when you take the first from it. So the first is two. Wow. That's really complicated. I remember it being complicated. The first multiplied by the second makes the last. Okay, so you automatically know that uh, this can either be a two or a zero or a four or an eight. There it is. Um, and the last multiplied by the first makes 16. Well, actually... Oh, interesting. The first multiplied by the second makes the last. Kind of cool. Am I wrong on that? No, sorry. Ah, here we are. Fallon's precious notebook. Hmm. I think it is time to call the council together. Very well. Now that all the members of the council are present, let us begin. Felnor, what have you found in Fallon Orbiplanix's notes? 